Well, hello, YouTube fans. How are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. I want to share with you and my thoughts about this mini amplifier you can use for all your different types of electronics like your iPod, your cell phone, iPad, or iPhone, all sorts of different pieces of things you want to to use with this system itself. You can see I have everything somewhat laid out for you and we're going to talk about the parts and pieces on how you can get this stuff to able to work with you on devices. You can see I have many uh, speakers. I have these small speakers I really don't have use for but now I actually do because I'm going to use them for Halloween this year and I have a 12 volt lead acid sealed battery right here and this is what powers the mini amp I have a couple different cables on here one over there I have a locker face bluetooth receiver a mini amplifier my iPod touch and also my cell phone as well to use on this unit as well. But let's take a little closer about this amplifier on how most of the thing works. Alright, we got the uh, on and off switch to turn it on and off. We got the M3 player, we got a button over here, we got the treble, we got the bass, and of course we got the big giant volume knob on the top. Now if I flip all this way, she has a RCN jack, a microphone, your left and right output speakers, and 12 volt DC input here with two amps. But this is a very nice uh, amplifier to actually have. And there is the name if you really want to know what I'm using. This is the heart and soul of everything working together. Now, this one does not have Bluetooth capability, but you can go out and buy one of these Rocketfish Bluetooth receivers. You can get this most at your any electronic store. This has 5 volts, uh, octal audio digital out, and analog audio out as well. Stereo left and right channel. Now I will demonstrate on how this all works together. Now, Let's get into the types of cables you're going to need. RCA, left and right, with a mini stereo jack, or if you have a cell phone or iPod like these, and you have one of these laying around, you can use this type of stereo jack to stereo jack, and this will can connect these two items together by using the headphone jack output on your phone and the output stereo jack on your iPod. Now, of course with Bluetooth would be a wireless solution, but again, you're dealing with a bunch of wires and everything sorted out. Now, you can only use one of the on audio cable uh, for this mini amplifier for it to actually work correctly. Now let's go ahead and plug in the audio cables, like the speaker cables, onto the back of the amplifier. Now do make sure when you plug these in right, make sure these are uh, being plugged into the right side. The uh, copper side is going to go to the negative side of the amp. The silver side is going to be connected to the silver or to the positive side. Now this does have a overload protection and overheat protection as well. And that's pretty nice about this amplifier. Now, why does it have a mic input? Well, a mic input helps you to use a leveled microphone for this uh, amplifier. Now, of course, with this mini amplifier, it's not going to replace your main stereo equipment inside your house. Now, of course, don't forget to plug the power into it because we're going to need that to power the amplifier. Now, 
with these two items, they both have batteries built into them. Uh, this does not have a battery, but you can see I'm using a battery right there. And the one thing, if you're going to use your Bluetooth receiver, you're going to need a power plug to plug this in as well. Now, do not use any uh, bigger speakers than the mini amp can handle. It's only 60 watts per channel, and it's a really nice unit to actually listen to your music or watching videos on YouTube as well. Now, I can, you can see one of my uh, units have picked up the Bluetooth signal. My phone, I apparently connected to my phone by Bluetooth. That's uh, pretty good, but right now, we're not going to need the Bluetooth signal right now. We're going to turn that off on my cell phone. But Bluetooth is really good to have for certain things as well. But not always a good idea to have because it would actually drain your battery on your phone or your iPod. But make sure you have the Bluetooth signal turned off on your cell phone and also on your iPod as well. Now, one thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate you with the stereo jack. If I don't twist it all up. And you're going to get these at your electronic store. Now this does have the capability of using a stereo jack. Let's plug this into that. Plug this into my cell phone. <coughs> Make sure the volume's down. And we're going to go to into music to actual test it to see if it actually works. It should. Because that's the way it's actually designed for this device itself. Now, I'm not going to play the whole song, just going to demonstrate you on how this amp file works with most uh, devices. Now, without the amplifier, you can't just plug the speakers directly into your phone. It won't work. Okay, I agree. I turn that down. And at least that side works. Great. Now, of course, most people hate wires, and I can completely understand that, but I do have a solution for you as well by using the Bluetooth OE seal itself. And make sure you plug your stereo jacks up here or your uh, RCA jacks if you want. And you can also use that mini stereo jack for this to connect it into the front of your amplifier as well. And we're just going to take my iPod like this, turn on Bluetooth by connecting it by wireless. But again, not everything is wireless because you still have to plug stuff into the system itself to be able to be wireless. Now, Again, this mini amplifier is not Bluetooth. That's why I have a separate unit uh, for this as well. But you do have a known system out there. It does have the Bluetooth kind of functions if you really want to actually do that. Now, I'm going to go to one of my older videos and showing you on how to stream the audio from the video directly to the amplifier itself. By the way, I am outside. Okay. It works pretty good. And anyway, I will still play music as well. Alright, this is kind of my setup on how this unit all works. If you are burning in this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please like. Please share. Peace out. Bye, guys. Well, we'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.